<clears throat> Shit, it's hard working and playing with strange people 24 hours a day for seven days. Either Robin gets the sulks or I do, as we can't both hog the limelight at the same time. <laughs> it's amazing however much you profess friendship for another girl, it still always ends up in competitive animosity. You eye the other girl, gnash your teeth and say, I wish I was as pretty as you. Well, that's Robin's line, which is proving to be a bit of a drag, especially as she's hogged all the best clothes, best shots, plus the photographer. Must admit, I'm getting a few of my old loose foot wings on this trip. Oh, old lost feelings on this trip. At least I do keep them to myself. Here's stiff upper lip coming in. <laughs> Yesterday happened to have a good day in front of the camera and Madam threw a real sulk, drove off in the car to gain attention, spilling the contents of my bag along the road. When I shouted at her, she sulked for hours. And it wasn't until I discussed the, that I've mentioned previously in a friendly manner Plus the promise of her wearing my best wig that she came around. <laughs> Still, it's obvious that women just don't mix. Not young, secure ones, any insecure ones anyways. The feeling I am feeling today are very common to those of my sex. And the only answer seems to be to think of them, control them, and then maybe one day I'll forget them. Anyways, if we go dancing tonight, that'll make Robin throw a sulk because when I dance, I really know I'm fantastic. God, what a competitive little bugger I am. No <laughs> wonder H cakes me a pub brawl. Oh, H calls me a pub brawler. That must be dad. Yeah. Hum calls me a pub brawler. So there is a, oh, this is funny. Oh, this is funny. Okay. Uh, this is September 19th, 1970. Fuck, what a day crawled out of bed, splashed my makeup on, and luckily caught a taxi all the way to an early audition. Anyhow, I got the stupid job only because the other girl was so late and then worked as a cheesy hair, air hostess. Didn't enjoy it at, for a start and I don't enjoy having my legs exposed to the elements, let alone the camera. Because of this job, the rest of my day was messed up. Bill, what's it? wasn't in for lunch so walking along Holborn I was easy prey for a smooth Israeli who kindly carried my basket I was so bored I ended up having lunch at Claridge's with him seeking simulation and finding him rather dull I entered into his flirtation games over the table I never intended to end up in his bed in his impressive Mayfair apartment but after much grappling, I thought I'd see if he was any good in bed. He wasn't. <laughs> Brought me down a bit, as mistakes always do, but I think it was more the fact that my moles have been, rem my moles that have been removed don't look too good. So you had moles removed on your skin. I tell people that my boyfriend burnt my face with a cigarette. It sounds much better. <laughs> that was my dad <laughs> anyways it goes on i won't read all of it but um there's some i mean you just like basically you sleep with like five different guys in the span like eight pages <laughs> exercise <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah this is this is a really this is a really great find i have to say indeed maybe we will do something with copying these pages or something uh, i was gonna say we should maybe at least like pull a few passages off and just yeah. sort of, I don't know, Cause there's do some, something with it. There's definitely mm -hmm. some funny stuff in here. I did think it's it's something that, this is something we'll talk about once the Kickstarter's over, but I love the idea of breaking up some of the photography pages in the limited edition book with mm -hmm. little quotations from you, but maybe instead of taking it from the memoir, we actually take it from... I thought it'd be more fun to, because the memoir only goes up to Playboy, and then right. we kind of pick up where Playboy leaves off because we can't use any of those images, unfortunately. Right, because that was the one magazine that she worked for that did own everything. Yeah, that I thought it might be fun to just talk a little bit about what happened afterwards and include the, just a few, you know, we could talk and I could record it and you could just regal me with your glorious stories Whatever that you remember. probably will remember. I remember about Larry Flynn. He was, <laughs> he was fun, but still. <laughs> His but wife it was, was even better. All right. His Willie was better? His no, his wife. Oh. His wife. Oh. Oops, yeah. I didn't hear that.